Cześć, z tej strony Kuba Watral, witam Was w strefie miedzi. Dzisiaj naszym gościem jest Jens Gamelby. Hi Jens. Hi everybody. Uh, you're, you're here in Leginca just for a few weeks. Uh, we see each other after uh, the training camp in Turkey. Uh, tell me, do, do you like it? I know it's not a long time, but uh, how do you like it so far? Yeah, it, it's, it's been good. I've, I've settled down really fast and I already got apartment uh, and all that kind of stuff. That's really important to me because I have my girlfriend with me. Mm -hmm. So, but it has been going really fast and it's been easy to adapt to the squat also. That's okay. been really good. Uh, I heard you also uh, have a dog. I have a little dog, yeah. Okay, I think <laughs> it's very common in our uh, team that <laughs> yeah. our players have yeah. dogs because Max has dog. Uh, some, uh, Carlo, Carlos, Carlo has also, yeah, Carlos has two dogs. Carlos has two dogs, yeah. There's a lot of guys with dogs, but okay. that's, that's perfect. But okay, here in but, Poland but you can have dog to the restaurant also, that's really yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah sure. Uh, and you said you have a very little one. What yeah. is the race? Of? French Bulldog. French Bulldog, yeah. okay, that's a cute one. Uh, and uh, did something surprise you here in Poland, uh, comparing to, to Denmark, Denmark, maybe the climate, is it I don't know, colder here or warmer? It's almost the same. <laughs> Everything is almost the same. Like it's, it's very easy to adapt when you come from, from Denmark. All right. Uh, I heard like that two days ago uh, you went for a little trip to Krakow. Uh, to see your friend Matthias Rasmussen, who played in Krakowia. Yeah. Um, did you have time to, to visit uh, Krakow? Yeah, um, we, we went out, uh, get, got something to eat and it was really good. It's a, it's a nice city and uh, it was good to see my friend also. I haven't seen him for the last, last six months since I played with him in, in Denmark. Um, mm -hmm. But he's doing well down here, so I also asked him about how it is to, to live in Poland and, mm -hmm. and how the, the, he's playing in extra class right now, but he, he watched a lot of games from, from the Fortuna League. All right. So he also said like it's, it's good. Okay. Um, he's, he's here for how many seasons? So oh, far, do you know? Yeah, uh, he's been here for six months now. Six months. But he signed a three-year contract, I think, three contract. with Krakowia. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But uh, did you have an opportunity, or maybe did you talk with him before uh, you signed uh, with us? Yeah, 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 I talked with him, and he's he's really happy living in Poland, and he's mm -hmm. he's, he's really adapted quick here, and he he said to me that it's it's easy to come here, uh, right. not easy to play. You know, football is difficult, but. It's it's easy to adapt to being in Poland, and that was very important for me. Okay, uh, about uh, about uh, our team, uh, did you have a warm welcoming uh, in the cloakroom? Really, it's it's really easy to be a, a part of the squad. Uh, they have been they have been really nice to me since I since I got here. I came like some weeks ago now, and and it's been it's been really easy to adapt to the squad. Mm -hmm. uh, in autumn. You played in the group stage of Europa League, uh, but also uh, you played in Champions League qualification. Uh, can you tell us a bit more uh, how does it look like uh, in such a big, uh, you know, big, big cups? Uh, yeah, on, on the background of this. It's crazy. It's, <laughs> it's, it is crazy. It's 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 something you you dream about. You always dream about when you were a kid watching like when they. All the players are standing and they're playing the Champions League uh, song. Uh, that's exactly uh, what it was uh, when we were playing in Champions League in uh, Salzburg. We played these two games, uh, and yeah, it was it was unbelievable. All right, um, and now you're reaching the the second level uh, of the of the of the playings in in, in Poland. Uh, this is not an obvious transfer, especially from 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 the Polish fans, uh, and this is the actual main question from our fans: uh, How how did you get <laughs> yeah. to, to Legnica? Yeah, I understand. It looks how did, how did it happen? It looks a little bit weird, maybe coming from from Brunby to to here. But I mm -hmm. I watched the squad uh, first of all, and uh, I had. Uh, some really good talks with the coach. That was the most important thing for me when I knew I had to change club. Mm -hmm. I need to speak to the coach and hear what he has to say about uh, do they know about me? Do they know what kind of player I am? Do they know what is my like what is him, his ambition from for me mm -hmm. in the squad and and so on and he he told me that 
they really looked into me and saw a lot of videos with me and, and I was the kind of player he, he really wanted. And that meant a lot to me mm -hmm. uh, for my decision. Uh, it made it easier when I talked with him because then he told me all that. Um, but yeah, I know it looks a little bit weird, but, but the main part is that I talked to the, to the coach and he, he said to me that I already knew we were number one in the league, but he told me that we, we have a, a really good squad, mm -hmm. uh, an easy squad. Uh, a lot of guys are from abroad, so they speak English. Yeah. Um, that was also, yeah, that was also something meaningful for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's the uh, most important part. Is it true that uh, that you talk even before this season? Because uh, there was an information that uh, we tried to uh, bring you here before, uh, not this run, but before the season. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't know about that. All right. I, the, my, yeah, I heard in the media, and the, I read an article about that they tried to get me summer also, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I didn't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, but so far you played only in in, Dan in Danish uh, clubs, yeah. right? So this is this is something new for you. Um, but was it like that you also, because you said it was very important to talk with, with the coach, but maybe you also wanted to change something because for, for instance, uh, when I spoke to Max, he played, it was similar that he played so far only in um, Swiss clubs yeah, exactly. and he wanted to change the environment, change something. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wanted also to change like, I'm 27, so I had this idea in my head that if I have to go out of Denmark and I also need to try something else at some point in my career. I, I didn't want to play like all my professional years in Denmark only. I, I wanted to try something else also. That's also why I, I chose this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so did you know, uh, what, maybe what did you know about Poland before you come here? Because we have some, you know, um, we don't know something about Denmark. I will tell you <laughs> in a moment. What, yeah. did you, what did you know about the Poland? Yeah, not much. No. Not much. I only heard from uh, from this Rasmussen uh, from Krakowia that it's it's nice here. That's the only thing I heard. I actually didn't know mm -hmm. so much about uh, about Poland. Okay, um, may, um, maybe about some about clubs. Obviously, yeah, Krakowia. Of course, of course Poznan. Okay. Uh, we played uh, with Brunby. We played at them. Uh, in training match two years ago, we played a training match against Poznan here in Poland right. because our training camp was in Poland. Okay, uh, yeah. So about the Denmark, our fir first association with Denmark is of course Lego bricks. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, did you play w w with the bricks in the childhood? Yeah, I did. Maybe yeah, you did. still because it's not like only for kids. Yeah, but I don't have kids yet. But uh, but uh, I don't play with them anymore. But I know a lot of adults are doing it. Yeah, sure. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's 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 good. Uh, but I did it in my childhood a lot. We always had Lego, and in every like kindergarten in Denmark, you always see Lego yeah. everywhere. So I think it's, it's it's a common thing between Denmark and Poland because yeah, yeah. It's, it's very similar here. Uh, I played it as, as well with my brother as, when we were kids. Uh, did you have maybe your favorite set? Uh, In Lego? Yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> I remember actually I played a lot with, with Star Wars. Lego, Star Wars. Uh, okay. but I can't remember the specific set. <laughs> All right. Are you a fan of Star Wars? Also? Yeah, I was when I was a kid. All right. Uh, is it like that every Danish citizen must visit uh, the Lego Museum? in? Once in a lifetime, we have this. Uh, we have this in in Billund, that's close to where I'm from. There's an airport. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this Legoland, uh, and every Danish people have been in Legoland. It's this uh, park where you can ride roller coaster and so on. All right. And um, what everything is almost made of Lego there. That's nice. Yeah, everybody has to go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, uh, so you went. Uh, you went to match uh, from Brandbe. Uh, I think Brandby is probably one of the famous, uh, the famous um, club uh, in Denmark. In, in Denmark, Denmark. Um, that's from our point of view. Well, it is. It is yeah. uh, very popular. Mm, how is in Denmark? Is like the most popular next to the Copenhagen? If you measure on fans, it's mm -hmm. the 
by far most popular club in Denmark. Uh, right. Brøndby is the biggest club on fans. But if you look at economy and mm -hmm. m money to players and so on, Copenhagen, FC Copenhagen and uh, FC Midtjylland are spending much more money than, than Brøndby are. Okay. But for f fans is incredible. It's, it's, right. it's so crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, but about about the brand B, it's I think it's uh, very close to to Copenhagen. Yeah, it, is it like that uh, brand B is kind of a suburb? Yeah, of, of like Copenhagen? that. Yeah, okay. exactly. It's a district to, it's it's, Brøndby is it, its own district, but All right. it's close to Copenhagen. Yeah. Okay, so when you when you when you played uh, together, it's kind of like derby derby match. Yeah, it's. It's close. It, it it's could be the danger. On the yeah, it, it it could be. Sometimes it was it was also crazy, but mm -hmm. it was funny. All right. Uh, so we, you spent uh, I think one season uh, in Brandby uh, when they played Kamil Vilcek. Uh, yeah, I played with him two seasons, I think. Two seasons. Or one and a half. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Uh, so you had opportunity to to play with uh, each other and, uh, and to meet. Uh, he later, and this is something uh, interesting because he later on joined FC Copenhagen, which is the biggest rival. Uh, yeah. I think his life wasn't easy after that. I don't <laughs> think so either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, he's not a, in, in Brøndby, he's not a popular guy. All right. Uh, All right. And it's, now he's, he's back in, in Poland and I, I think that's, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good. It's good for him, right? Yeah, I think it's yeah. good for him. Uh, he didn't play a lot of games in, mm -hmm. in FC Copenhagen at the end. He he started really good and scored a lot of goals. But then they, I think he came with the old manager, and then they changed manager, and mm -hmm. then he didn't play anymore. Something, so, something. Yeah, but it's wrong. it's a it's a it's not a popular swift when you make from Brøndby mm -hmm. to Copenhagen or from FC Copenhagen to Brøndby. Yeah. That's. So fans treated this like he he betrayed. Yeah, Brandy. yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of course they did, especially because he was captain of Brøndby. Mm -hmm. He was he was captain of the team, mm -hmm. and then he changed. But he went to Turkey first. Yeah, yeah. He didn't change directly to, but it yeah. was almost like it. It was four months or five months after. All right. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, the next round uh, is about to start. Uh, what do you want me to wish? <laughs> to you for, for this for this round that we win <laughs> we need okay. a win we need to promote to the extra class and for that we need wins uh, and and I'm, I'm sure we're gonna get it because this this squad right now is is mm -hmm. good and when we look good on the training pitch and we have been we have been together for also 12 days in Turkey that has also been good for the squad and uh, for me to come into the squad and, and very easy so wish for a win all right so this is what I wish to you. I keep my fingers crossed. Thank you. Um, and take care. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.